<clears throat> Hello. Welcome back. So, I have something very near and dear to my heart. A bag from Ulta. So, Christmas just recently passed as well as my birthday but Christmas just recently passed so I got some <sighs> oh my goodness I got some gift cards from Ulta so today I went to Ulta and I used them so we're doing an Ulta haul I guess now actually I have done a haul on this channel before anyway so then my receipt is a little long but not as long as the ones you get from CVS so I got 11 items I feel like it does say that's 11 okay it doesn't <laughs> I guess it does on the way to the bottom starting at the top of the list I'm just gonna go down my little list so number one is this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and yogurt hydrate and repair multi-action leave-in with mafura and baobab oils we love a long name i actually didn't even smell it i got it because it's like oh it smells it smells pretty good it has more of a little kind of like a perfumey perfumey smell but i got it because i wanted like a really light leave-in but not something that was too watery and this isn't too watery. If it were too watery, like this would be clear, I think. So that's our first product. Next we have these two face masks from Freeman Feeling Beautiful. Mask experts since 1976. So they were on sale, that's why I got them. I got these two. I got the Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon peel off clay mask I really love peel off masks so I'm very excited to use this one and then I got the purifying oatmeal no, avocado and oatmeal clay mask which looks like this um I just really like the idea of, of, of avocado so that's why I got this one so I got three morphe brushes I got this under eye bullet this is m536 537 right now that's crazy and this is in 536 that's why I thought that was crazy <coughs> so in 536 I've never had any Morphe brushes before so I'm very excited it looks like this is for like doing right here I got this brown blender brush that's in 514 I got this because I felt like I had like really wide blending brushes and like really small ones but nothing like in between like this so yeah that's it I feel like that's what I need so I got this brush the Morphe brushes are really inexpensive too that big one was Okay. The big one was eight dollars. The one I just showed was six dollars. This next one was two dollars, and that's this angled liner slash brow brush, which I got for brows mostly. So I got this brush. Ooh, I like it. It's I got like a really nice. I feel like I have to burp because I just ate, so. Uh, um, there she is. So, I got this pencil, not a pencil liner. Got this liner brush, and that's Morphe M165. So, I'm, I'm excited for these brushes because I've never used Morphe brushes before, but I've heard good things. So next on our list we have, so I got a concealer from Makeup Revolution, and it is the Conceal and Define 
concealer in the color C14. Yes. So I got this concealer. Um, it's full colors concealing contour. I'm not gonna contour with this color, obviously. But I got this color because I wanted a color that matched my skin more. And I feel like the concealers that I have now. I like really light. Actually, yeah. I feel like in the bottle it doesn't. Wait. So this is a concealer that I usually use. The Maybelline New York color hazelnut. And this is a concealer I just bought. Let's see if it's actually the same color because that'd be crazy. No, it's darker. I'll be back. Okay. It's much darker. This is the new one and this is the old one. And I just wanted something that matched my skin a little bit better because I feel like when you have a concealer that matches your skin better, you can use it as kind of like a spot foundation. If that makes sense. So that's why I got that. I know it looks a lot darker than my hand, but my face is darker than my hand, so I felt like it would be okay. Got that. I've been wanting it for a while. It was only seven dollars, so very muy affordable. Oh, and then I got this NYX Honey Do Me Up. This is like a primer, I think. Wait. So it's a skin serum and primer. I've been wanting it for a while. It's $16.99, which is why I haven't bought it up until now. Last two things, or a couple things. I got this NYX um, retractable eyeliner in the color white because, so I got that in the color white because I really like the idea of making my eyes appear whiter, wider, which is why I, the way I do my eyeliner I think makes my eyes look whiter. And I know that putting white eyeliner under your eyes makes your eyes look a little bit whiter. It's like a retractable liner. Ooh, that was, it was smooth. That was smooth. I'm excited to use her. Okay, uh, next thing I got was this brow pomade from NYX. I use their brow mascara, which is what I have on now because I ran out of an eyebrow pencil. And you know, I, I just wanted to switch it up. I've been using the same eyebrow pencil for maybe like two years, long time. So I'm switching it up, just trying out a pomade here. I think this is what my sister uses too. So we're about to become twinsies. And I got it in the color Espresso. And it looks like this, it's pretty dark. Should I be concerned? I don't know. But I'm going to use my new Morphe brush with it, so we shall see how that comes out. And then, last but not least, to finish up this haul, the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Is that what this is called? That's what we're calling it. I got it in the shade yellow. Um, for a natural looking baked beet, try our lightweight matte flower setting power. Great for, for makeup or baking, of course. I love Beauty Bakery's branding, it's so cute. And it is a black owned business, so we are supporting. And I've just been looking for a powder that will not give me flashback. Like I feel like the closest I've gotten is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color Deep is what I've been using lately. When I first when I first started using that powder, I got the color Medium Deep and that was a no. You can see it in my driver's license picture and it's really crusty.
so I got deep and that's been working a little bit better for me so I just got the yellow version of the flower powder um, I'm very excited this was my most expensive item that I got in my haul today it was $24 uh, and I'm truly really excited to use it even though it is yellow I do have cool to neutral undertones so I'm a little bit concerned about that but I asked the people at Ulta and they were like yeah you should be good so I I'm excited to use it it's something I've been wanting for a really long time it was either that or uh, that other one I don't remember what it's called the Laura Mercier was another one I wanted to try but they don't, they don't have that at Ulta, I don't think. It's at Sephora. So I got the Beauty Bakery. I'm really excited to try it. So that is everything that I got on my haul today. Try to pick everything up. My concealers, all this stuff from Ulta. And my leave-in is like on the ground. There she is. That's everything. It cost me. Whew, the total was. I had two coupons, so the total came out to $90.64. Which is a lot. But I had gift cards, and that's the only reason I got all this stuff. So, thank you for joining me on this video today, you guys. Um, if you want to see more from me let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see hit a girl up in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time